Hi Cancers, welcome to my channel, Soul Light Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten. I have your love and emotional dynamic all laid out for you for the month of November. This is a general reading, so not all messages will apply to every Cancer. Um, however, if you listen for the energy that is conveyed by the scenario I call out, you will find that that energy will play out in your life in some way, um, whether it be uh, directly or indirectly. Uh, so try to be sensitive, and then you'll find that all tarot readings on YouTube are pretty accurate. It's like quantum mechanics. When you observe energy, it takes the form of uh, and the shape of what it is you believe it to be. So everybody's reality is different, even though the energy is the same. It's, um, you know, what is God? God is impersonal energy that creates based on our beliefs. So, that being said, and I only say that because this is a reading not only about your love dynamic for the month of November, but it's a reading about the Law of Attraction. So, and utilizing the Law of Attraction is what you're doing in the month of November, Cancer. Cancers, you have the Magician. I don't know if you can see that from here. Um, as your first card out, and your theme of the reading, clarified with the Moon and the Viaggio or the Traveler from Sibylla. I'm using the Will of Vera Tarot deck and the Lavera Sibylla deck. Okay, so with the Magician you are manifesting. The theme of the reading is you're manifesting. You're a great manifester. You're a powerful influence. Um, uh, you have a powerful influence on someone. They have a powerful influence on you. Um, and, but here I'm seeing this as, yeah, yeah, that, that plays in here too. But let me go with the storyline of you manifesting. Using all of your tools, all of your skills. You have a broad knowledge. And you have a natural, psychic, um, intuitive uh, connection to the divine. And you're a pretty powerful manifester. No doubt about it. And you want to manifest what? You want to manifest the moon here. You want to manifest big changes. Um, you want to... With the Viaggio, if I clarify the moon, you want to manifest a uh, movement forward, a change into something better from where you are right now. Because I'm assuming something is not right, um, because Viaggio makes the progress forward is to make something better. Um, and so, what kind of changes are you trying to manifest? Well, based on the cards around you, uh, you're wanting to manifest several different things and this could apply to different ones of you cancer listen for what resonates you may want to manifest some sort of impossible reality okay impossible change to a present reality you may want to manifest uh, a supernatural event uh, subconscious change um, You may want to manifest a change um, in someone's behavior that's disturbing you, upsetting you, got you fearful or anxious, okay? You may want to manifest the ideal partner or lover, a marriage partner or a family to um, uh, a bigger family. You may want to manifest more popularity in your business. Some of you may be involved in the entertainment industry in some way. Um, either online or in, all the way up to the big screen. It could be little plays in your neighborhood to an online uh, channel or uh, um, some sort of social media, all the way through TV to big screen. Any of you, could, that could apply. You may be wanting to manifest um, more popularity, more magnetism, more charisma, more beauty. Maybe doing something to change your physical body, to create an illusion of beauty or glamour. Um, you may be wanting to manifest uh, uh, a more beautiful body. And then some of you are just trying to manifest your dreams. You're just trying to man use the law of attraction um, and manifest the inherent power that you believe you have within you okay so you're doing this why why is this your focus and this is such your passion 
um, in the month of November because for some of you going to the love because it's going to be about love and other things too you as uh, the water sign the Queen of Cups here Queen of Cups the five of Pentacles this is why you're doing this um, you've given everything you've looked deep into a situation um, your relationship into another um, and you've come up short you feel neglected you feel rejected uh, unwanted um, you're, you could be very deeply bothered and emotionally drained because of someone else rejecting you neglecting you um, someone that you love and care about and respect maybe a mother figure or mature female around you could be a problem could be um, causing you to feel emotionally drained in some way or rejected you could be putting space between you and this person whoever it is but this is a love reading so let's read it as your partner person of interest but it could be any of those other things you could be putting space between you and it. You don't want their counsel. You don't want what they have to offer. You don't want what they're trying to offer you right now. Okay, Some sort of advice, counsel, or love. Because they love you. Because they want to help you. Right? You're, you may be rejecting that. Maybe uh, some of you are dealing with, I'm just calling out scenarios here, um, a partner who is neglecting you. Maybe friends and family. Because I just, just because of the picture, even though this isn't the Ten of Cups, I feel the Ten of Cups energy from this Nine of Cups. Even though friends and family may want you to perhaps um, leave, because this is a clarifier for these two cards, the Thief card. They may want you to leave this person alone, okay? But there's a rejection of this advice and counsel, which is just coming from, for your own good, best interest, you know? It's well intended. But you're turning your back to that, right? Because you're determined to uh, create the impossible, to manifest the impossible. Um, and this could apply to any situation. Maybe you have a dream, the Nine of Cups, a wish that you want to have fulfilled. And you've come up so short, okay? And maybe people are advising you, maybe it's time to, you know, let this go. It's taking more from you than what it's giving. Um... You're still turning your back on. You're turning your back on that advice, okay? Um, you could be putting space between you and uh, a moody individual. Or they need space from you, okay? Any of these scenarios can apply. Let me know. What resonates? Um, going. This is the early part of November, and this is why you are focused on manifesting the impossible. Okay, why you're trying to do whatever this change is for you. And around mid-November, we've got the Nine of Cups, and we've got the Three of Wands. This woman staring off into the sky and making a wish on a star. Um, she's sending out her intention to the universe. You know, very uh, strongly. And she's expecting to receive because she believes that her wish will come true. So that's the determination. There's a strong determination. You got seven of wands here too. To um, manifest a dream or a wish. And you're going to do it, Cancer. If anyone can do it, my dear, you can. So be careful what you wish for in the month of November. Because you will most certainly get it sooner or later. You will get exactly what you wish for. Dun 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 dun. Be careful you don't manifest your fears. Okay? Along with those dreams. Around mid November, you're getting what you want. There's some sort of satisfaction uh, or some results that you're seeing. We got the Nine of Cups which is a wish fulfilled. We got the Three of Wands, which is looking towards the future. 
and expecting um, to get a, re a positive result from something that you send out a message, um, a product, uh, a desire. So something that you sent out and I'm feeling like you send it out with subconscious programming, with subliminal, with affirmation, with spells, with uh, prayer, with uh, deep intention, okay? You're going to get some results. Like I said, you're manifesting. And you're going to see some results around mid-November. You're going to be getting whatever it is you're trying to want. You're going to start seeing results. You're going to be very happy about that. Very satisfied. Even a little smug. I showed you. You didn't think I could do it, huh? Yeah, I didn't think I could do it. You told me to give up. And now look at me, you know? So good for you. But, warning. You got the military or the soldier reverse. As a clarifier for what you're sending out, you're sending out in a way that is kind of have to understand spiritual stuff here, so I hope you guys follow, everyone follows. You're sending out your intention using some sort of deceit and trickery. You're trying to find a back door in. Um, or take a shortcut okay and in doing so you do get results with this three of wands however when you and this is where we learn about the law of attraction when you take a shortcut to achieving your goals which means you bypass the will of another okay or if you're spiritual and you read the Bible or whatever, you bypass God's will. But really what that means is you bypass the will of another. Or your will is in somehow in conflict with what it is you're wanting that would satisfy you. You can get results, but they're short-lived. Okay, You have to be in total alignment. And the energies and forces all have to be in alignment for a long-lasting result. Okay, so this is a this is a nine, it's not a ten. It's not the fullness of creation. And I feel like you're going to take a shortcut and so that means there's some sort of um doing this in a sense that uh may not be for the highest good or where there could be some inner conflict still in you opposed to your having this good that is going to cause it to retract from you once you get it because retraction is what you're going to get going towards the end of November so here you're getting what it is you want possibly reconciliation possibly more love and consideration, more attention for your business, more beauty and praise. People are noticing. Oh wow! I'm lo they're noticing you. You know, um, uh, more more lovers, more suitors. Um, but but something happens here because we've got the uh, the three of swords and the hermit card. After you get these results here through possibly shady or underhanded or tricky or manipulative or you know, like I said in a way that is not properly aligned because you still have a conflict an emotional conflict with it or it may have an emotional conflict with you which means you have an emotional conflict with it because you attract what you uh, believe you, re you should receive I hope everybody's following what I'm saying um, so around the end of November there's a breakup, there's a rift there is a uh, heartbreak there's um, regret, there's grief I, I clarified it with the melancholia card so look at her, she's grieving over she has regret over a loss it's um,
she may be making more out of this loss than she needs to be making, you know. Uh, there is something that that goes wrong here and she's contemplating what went wrong something in the relationship goes wrong and you're contemplating what went wrong you know I did everything and it was working and now bam what happened and uh, what happens is an air sign person because with Viaggio we've got a fire sign a fire sign I'm just following the cards here. I feel like there could be um, results coming in to make things better. A fire sign, maybe maybe you're starting to get results with a fire sign here. Things get good, you start seeing results. And um, again, this could be any sign. I'm just uh, calling it by its suit here. But it could be, uh, um, we'll just call it a fire sign comes in. And you're starting to get good results. And... Uh, Huh. Then something happens. There's some sort of interference around the end of November. Could be a third party. Could be an air sign that enters. Um, this could be another person, or it could be uh, the character of the fire sign. And when the military or the soldier card is upside down, it can talk about um, jealousy, possessiveness, restrictions. It could talk about someone who's spying on you. Um, it could be an air sign person, Aquarius, Gemini. we got Gemini here. and um, Or Libra. Entering your life, coming into your life. Sneaking in. Okay. Sneaking in and causing interference and heartbreak. Um, that may come between you and this situation and that might be what goes wrong. Because someone goes off and leaves the situation, leaves the, um, leaves the party. Um, I think this is you. Uh, this could be harsh words. This could be, um, like I said, jealousy, possessiveness, harsh words, a heartbreak. So this might be coming from the fire sign or from this air sign or a combination of both and that is what comes in between you and your it's a misunderstanding it's um, uh, implied or supposed uh, indiscretion um, or betrayal and this is this is it, this could be a fire sign an air sign or an earth sign person or a Leo or a Gemini or a Pisces, or a Scorpio. I'm seeing all these these signs. Mainly, I'm seeing um, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo, or Leo. Okay, but any sign it could be. Hope you guys are following. Uh, but I feel like this is you. This is your energy. No, wait a minute. This is their energy. So they could be going off into. Um, they are you. I'm going to say they are you. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't tell which. They are you as a result of this uh, betrayal or this misunderstanding. This separate causes a separation or a rift between you. And you go off into uh, seclusion to think things over. Someone goes off into seclusion to think things over. To figure out what went wrong because you took all the steps. You did everything right, but you took a back, back, back door channel. You know, you took a shortcut. You know, the shortcut is there's something, I'll get to the shortcut in a minute because that's your advice from the reading. Um, so around the end of the month, you're, you're kind of going into seclusion, not going out anymore. You're, you're suffering a new rejection. After you, after you saw some great results, somehow you get put in your place or suffer some sort of rejection. There's a lot of regret and, and, and also wondering and contemplating and trying to figure out what did I do wrong? Because you are so bound to accomplishing this and to keeping this relationship or making this career endeavor work or grow that it's not, it, 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 it may delay you, it may impede your progress, it may shut you down for a minute or so, but 
only because you are working on yourself and you are understanding, I believe you're understanding, Virgo. Sorry, I got all these cards here. I just want you to see what I'm pointing at. I believe that you're understanding. You know how to manifest. And um, I think you're going to realize through your your this time away from partner or whatever it is that you want, this new rejection, you're going to realize that the shortcut was a mistake and you're going to have to go back, back into the future. Back into the future. And when I say back into the future, we're talking about the law of attraction again, it just gets kind of deep. It's almost like I see some of you need to do a past life regression. Because there's something in you that is blocking you from uh, ultimate wish fulfillment. It's not the other person. It's something in you. And you're going to perceive that and understand that. And um, in that knowing, I don't know if you're going to put that into progress right now, but there is the understanding that you need to travel, travel back into the future. So that you can achieve your dream and success in the now. And just from the cards, from what I see, I feel like, um, and I can do a past regret, past life regression um, with people. I am trained to do that with hyp hypnotherapy. We can take you back to a past life and find out the cause for why you uh, keep attracting wrong partners or or rejection in your career or in your um, your love life. And I feel like if you travel back into your future, you may find a situation, it's just a possibility just based on these cards, that um, maybe you were um, troubled by or victimized in the past by a mother figure. Uh, maybe uh, they stole something from you, took something from you. Uh, Some of you might have been given given away for adoption, you know, uh, and you felt like you never really connected with family. Maybe you were a stepchild or maybe you were mistreated by family or a mother figure. And I feel like that might be a story that the cards are, are saying might be a potential reason why you are, have this blockage now. But it, it all depends on who you are, and each individual has a different story. That's the one that's being conveyed here. So um, this is getting kind of long. Um, it's a lot deeper than I wanted to go. I just wanted to talk about your love life. But it is what it is, and hopefully it will help someone. So around the end of the month and going into December, even though you suffer the setback here and some seclusion, you take some time to think things through and figure out what went wrong with your plan, your your ultra plan to get what you want because you were getting results. I think that um, uh, you've got the sun here, so I'm I'm just trying to figure out how we jump from from this to this and from this to this and to the seven of wands because the sun is about success the sun is about health vitality um, prosperity uh, clarity good news um, opportunities a uh, new birth a uh, new opportunity and the seven of wands is about um, standing your ground standing up for what you want and defending your territory, putting up a defense, and uh, blocking out uh, rejection or rejecting something because it's not good for you. So, if it's a partner and you reconcile in around mid month, there's some sort of rejection or um, something goes wrong in the relationship and uh, 
there's separation again, right? Someone goes into isolation to get clarity, to get wisdom, to get understanding, to find out what went wrong. And you get this clarity. You get some understanding. Like I said, you perceive that you took a shortcut and there's something more that needs to be cleared up within yourself. I think you see that it's a problem within you and not with the other person. Yes, the other person has a problem, but you only attracted that person into your life because it's your problem first uh, and foremost to begin with. So with that understanding... There's, there's more clarity uh, uh, and, and more energy and um, determination to heal yourself. So I see this as being a blessing. The sun is a blessing. A blessing comes out of this because you are so much more determined to heal yourself and to, uh, to still achieve your objective. I see you still rejecting rejecting with the seven of wands the negative vibes or energy or 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 emotional um you know because there's here you're saying i told you so but here they're saying i told you so and there's a rejection of that you put up a rejection of that oh no oh no because this card here fortuna to clarify the sun and the seven of wands talks about fortuna right is absolute guaranteed success i mean fortune is shining on you this is an awesome card but guess what when it's reversed it's not so bad either it just means you're, you're going to get that success it's just delayed for now it's going to take more effort um, to make your sun shine brilliantly and um, in order to do that you're going to be um, blocking out uh, or resisting anything that opposes your finalized vision so I don't see you even though you suffer rejection in, a in your love life from a partner who returns, a fire sign who returns, the, there may be they may push you away because here we got a fire sign rejecting you, okay, rejecting you, um, because of a third party interference. Maybe because an air sign enters the picture or some sort of inner conflict that they have. Any of these reasons that I called out can apply. I can't go over them again, guys. It's just, it's just, ugh. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys follow. I, I, I really um, get concerned that sometimes you guys lose my thread. But whatever. Uh, hopefully you don't. You don't give up. Mm -mm. Seven of Wands stands their ground. You're going to continue to focus and to use your intention, your manifesting power to make this dream, this ideal relationship um, become, uh, become more dreamlike, become more satisfying, more fulfilling, or to attract the ideal uh, marriage partner or um, life partner. Uh, to uh, create that beauty and that aura of attraction around yourself so that you become more popular or that celebrity that you want to become. You're not giving up on your dream. This is just a month's reading. This is where you're at at the end of November and going into December. I hope that you enjoyed your reading. I hope that it gave you some, uh, some guidance. And I want to say before I end this that... Um, uh, God bless you, Cancer. Um, I think that if you are wise with this, this hermit card here, and you really do perceive and understand that it's not about them, it's about you, and do that work, that inner work, and clear up those issues uh, that ultimately that will lead you to the blessing that is right for you, okay? Although I feel like for you at this time, you feel your blessing is this particular person or this particular career, this particular type of success, and you're not giving up on that despite what anybody else tells you or thinks. And kudos to you because um, you shouldn't give up until you're ready to give up. Um, and if you still have that dream and that dream is still alive in you, 
then you're going to put all of your effort and energy into making it happen. And I see you um, going forward doing just that. But we'll have to see where that lands you. It can land you in a really awesome place if you focus on healing you. It could also land you um, succeeding in, in, in a relationship with this particular person. Um, if you if if all things can get aligned, all right, it's, there's a possibility. You see the potential, and um, you believe the impossible is possible, and that you can change the impossible and make it possible. So kudos to you, Cancer. Uh, I commend your strength and your character. Um, and I'm not going to tell you not to do it, even though I want to. I, I, what I mean is I'm not going to tell you um, to give up. I want I may I may want to tell you to give up on a person um, that maybe your success lies in another direction, but I think that you have to come to that conclusion on your own and and I'm not saying that your success doesn't lie in this direction because if anyone can change it, you can. But the, the answer lies in you. God bless you, Cancer. Have a wonderful month of November. And many blessings. Bye.